For the first seven weeks of this subject we have completed fabricating a mini project, which is the spring plunger. Spring plunger is commonly used in a deep drawing as an ejector and attached to a blank holder. In this mini project, our group will develop a CAD model based on the given specification, then fabricate and test the product. This is the exploded and assembly view of the parts of the spring plunger. There are four main components, namely the body, head screw, and spring. The total length of the spring plunger is 105 mm, while its largest diameter is 18 mm. This is the technical drawing of the head, in which we have fabricated the part based on this drawing. It is 35.5 mm in length, and 11.28 mm at its largest diameter. The next part is the body, in which where all parts are assembled onto. It features an inner thread for the screw to attach to the body. The last part is the screw, where it is used to secure all parts in the assembly to the body. It features an outer thread and a notch for flat screwdriver to help with the assembly and disassembly process of the product. For the mini project, we were given a raw material in the form of aluminium rod with a length of 198 mm and diameter of 19 mm. We have mainly used lathe machine and also milling machine and M14 tap and die tool. Manufacturing processes include turning, drilling, facing, threading, cutting and milling. This is the final assembly video of our product. The head is first inserted into the body, then followed by the spring. Finally, the screw is secured to the body with the help of a screwdriver. We then tested the function of the spring plunger by applying force to the plunger head to confirm the product is working as intended. After completing the mini project in week 7, we were given another task which is the main project. The main project is sheet metal bending project, in which we have selected a fruit peeler as our product of choice. The product is made from stainless steel, and has a weight of 40 grams. This is the technical drawing of the fruit peeler, after the bending process is completed. Five bending processes are involved in obtaining the shape of this product. This is the flat pattern of the product before any bending process is applied. The total length is 372.5 mm and the width is 15 mm. Laser cutting machine was used to obtain the flat pattern and all its features. Next, moving on to the bending concept of the peeler. In total, there are five bending features needed to obtain the desired shape of this peeler. Four punches and three dies are used, including one two-way die. The bending machine that has been selected for the bending process is the hydraulic press brake machine. Specifically, the model that has been chosen is the Harsel WC67K hydraulic press brake machine shown here. Next, the concept of metal bending process revolves around deforming a sheet metal by applying force to the material, which causes it to bend and subsequently form the desired shape. Speed, accuracy and precision of metal bending has resulted in the popularity of the metal bending process. There are numerous benefits of metal forming process, including the flexibility of the process to which the sheet metal can be cut and bent into desired shapes and forms. Next, metal bending yields no wastage of material, thus contributing to the process sustainability. Metal forming also has higher production rate while at the same time, have low machining time. This contributes to low energy consumption of the process. Lastly, it is a cost-effective process because less human intervention is needed to run the machine. For punch and die that are needed to fabricate the fruit peeler, all five bending processes only require three dies and four punches. 
the material that has been selected for the punch and die is type A2 tool steel. The material is chosen for its desired characteristics of high hardenability, high degree of dimensional stability and heat treatment, and good wear resistance. Other than that, it also exhibits excellent fatigue life and high toughness. CNC milling and cutting process are the two manufacturing processes involved in fabrication of the punch and die. These are the three dies that are used in fabricating the fruit peeler. The first die is two-way V-die, with the top angle at 90 degrees and bottom angle of 75 degrees. This die is used for bending 1, 3, and 4. The second die is the S-shaped die. As the name suggests, it is used to bend the sheet metal into S-shape. It is used in step 2 of the bending process. Lastly, the third die is the U-shaped die. This die is used for step 5 of the bending process. The following slides shows the technical drawing of all three dies. As previously stated, four punches are used to fabricate the peeler. The first punch is the 75 degrees V punch. It is used for step 1 of the bending process. Next, the second punch is the S-shaped punch. It is used in bending step 2. The third punch is the 90 degrees V punch. This punch is used in step 3 and 4 of the bending process. The final punch that is used to fabricate the peeler is the L-shaped punch. It is used for step 5 of the bending process. The following slides shows the technical drawing of each punch. In designing the punch and die, sustainability aspect of the design should always be taken into consideration. For this project, we have incorporated the design to use less materials that will contribute to the optimal usage of resources. The S-shaped punch and die in step 2 is actually a combination of two U bending. Designing the punch and die to form S-shape does not only reduce the bending process time and energy consumption, but also resulted in savings of raw material to produce the punch and die. Next, the two-way V-die is combination for both step 1 and step 3 of the bending process. Different angles are incorporated into different sides of the die, resulting in reduction of raw material usage and eliminates the raw material change over time during its fabrication process. The next part of this video is the animation of the bending process. As mentioned earlier, there are a total of five bending processes that are needed to form the fruit peeler. The first bending step to form the fruit peeler is the 75 degrees V bending. This process will deform the workpiece into a sharp clean 75 degrees bend. This is how it looks like in the animated video of step 1 bending process. The second step is the S bending. In step 2, the workpiece are now deformed into S shape. This animation shows the bending process of step 2, where the workpiece is deformed into S-shape. Next step 3 of the bending process involves a 90 degrees bending of the workpiece. This step 3 animation shows the 90 degrees bending process that deforms the workpiece at 90 degrees angle. Next, another 90 degree V-bending is done in step 4. This animation shows the bending process of step 4. The last step of the bending process, the step 5 is the U-bending. The workpiece is formed into U-shape, thus completing the bending process. This animation shows the step 5 of the bending process. After completing this final step, the workpiece is now formed into the desired shape of the fruit peeler. 
Lastly, for the costing of the fruit peeler, we have calculated the total cost of the product based on producing the product for 500 units. The manufacturing process for the fruit peeler itself is 2 ringgit and 12 cents per unit. The cost of fabricating the punch and die for the peeler is 10 ringgit and 4 cents per unit, while transportation and delivery cost of the product is 31 cents per unit. Lastly, in-house storage or inventory cost of the fruit peeler is 0.6 cents per unit. In total, the cost of producing the fruit peeler is 12 ringgit and 48 cents. Increasing the number of unit will further reduce the cost as the tooling cost could be spread more to the larger number of product that are being produced. That's all for this video, thank you.